Welcome to Goyo's Garden and Tie-Dyes. I'm Greg. All right, today we will be doing a 58 by 58 tapestry. It's folded in half and folded in half again. And I'm going to make a paper airplane out of it. One thing I've noticed, I've never folded a tapestry twice the same way, I don't believe. Uh, I keep forgetting which way to do it. But then I'm in the middle of it, don't want to go stop and watch a video, so I just kind of ad-lib. I think there's a lot more steps than what I just did, I'm not sure. But anyway, this is what I'm doing. I'm going to fold over one more time on either side, and then tie it off. get as smooth as I can but I'm gonna strap off the end here real quick I want to try to do some kind of little design but I still can't get the folds on those properly but I'm gonna keep on trying I keep having an, an idea in my mind and then I'll go out there and stand at the table and tap my fingers and just start tying it Definitely have to get a set plan here. But then they turn out different every time, so that's a plus also. It's very hot out here, so this is actually going to be an ice dye. I can't remember if I've ever done tapestry ice dye I'm doing this one and then another one in a couple days but yeah I'm not sure if I ever did a nice dye tapestry as you can see I'm just folding stuff over pulling it tight now don't like that one let's change it up Like I keep saying and what everybody else keeps saying, it's tie-dye. It's uh, It will be different every time, no matter how I tie it anyway. It might get close to the same pattern, but it's never exact. And one thing I can't get a hold of either is I always think it's way too thick. How is the dye going to go through? Ice, liquid... Uh, hot water it just it just seems so thick, but it does. I guess I'm gonna have to just get a shirt and practice the honeycombs. I'd really, really like to be able to learn how to do that. So, might as well get a shirt and. Tie it up, and if you don't like it, untie it, do it again. Someday I'll surprise y'all. Yeah, I'm not trying to play cowboy or nothing. I've got the bandana around my neck because the back of my hair keeps dripping with sweat. It's Like I said, it's very hot out. And I keep the bandana on hand to wipe my forehead or my face off. Because it doesn't matter if you're wearing a face mask or not. If you're using the soda ash, 
it's in the air because I'm outside. And the one thing I have to quit doing is when I'm sweating is picking up the bottom of my shirt to dampen off or dry off my forehead. Then you can taste the soda ash and then the games began. Got to come up and wash up really well, change shirts, go back out, start all over again. And I said, each time you do something with tie-dye, you learn. I don't think there's a project that I've done that I haven't learned something from it. Now, if I remember what I learned when I try it again, that's a whole different story. Tiny little knot in the end. You see me do it a couple times on there so I can find... Uh, the end of the sinew, so when I start unwrapping, I, I know where it is. Okay, so we're going to start with the ice, or the dye. And the first one we're doing is lemon yellow. And then new emerald green. And those are old dye containers that I have in there just to take up room so the ice doesn't just sit in those little spots and not do anything but make muck. Royal blue will be the next one. And now this next one, I don't know, I, Ch Chamos. Shamos, I don't know, C-H-A-M-I, or C-H-A-M-O-I-S. Don't know how to pronounce it. Somebody can let me know. Well, I just read it and pronounce it the same, right? <laughs> All right, Fire Red's our next one. Uh, soft Orange. Finish it off with some Razzle Dazzle. Mask up for your soda ash. Wind's not blowing too hard out there right now, but still, it's just in the air. wash my hands constantly too. Pack on the ice. I'm gonna go set it out in the sun. I actually did ice on this three times. All right, well, here we go. So that's the best way I could do is a little quick video of it. It's okay, I guess. Got some designs in there. Here's just a still shot. Said they're fun to make. I just wanted a bunch of color. And I got it. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you liked it, please hit like. If you want to share it, by all means, please do. Once again, thank you, and I'll see you next time.